Okay guys, welcome back to another video. This is the Samsung Galaxy M62 which was launched very recently. The reason why we're taking a look at this phone is because I think this could be one of the best value buys of 2021. It packs a bunch of really interesting features and hardware for a price of just 1,999 ringgit. So without further ado, let's just start with the unboxing and I'm gonna tear open this brand new sealed box. Okay, so there's really nothing special about the case and the box. Oh wow, the phone is incredibly hefty. Which is as to be expected because one of the big selling points of this phone is its large 7000mAh battery. Yo, this is massive. Okay, so this is the phone. We'll get to it in a bit. As you can see, yes, this is the blue color version. Let's move on to what else you get in the box first. This, yikes. This is the Type-C to Type-C uh, charging adapter that charges at 25 watts maximum. And this is the charging cable that comes with it. As you can see here, it is indeed Type-C to Type-C. Now that I booted up the phone, let's quickly talk about its display size. It's a 6.7 inch AMOLED plus Full HD display and that's one of the biggest selling points for this phone, especially for the price tag. And uh, if you look at the screen, you see a center mounted punch hole camera that is a 32 megapixel lens, but we'll get to the camera section in just a bit. And as usual of Samsung's AMOLED screen and some uh, Samsung displays, the colors are fantastic and maximum brightness, if I were to check it now, yeah, so I don't know if you can see in the camera, but you can definitely see this in uh, direct sunlight, no problems whatsoever. And yeah, that's really about it that I can talk about the displays. Now let's move on to the back panel. In Malaysia, you get the blue, uh, which is this one, and the black version. This is a glossy finish at the back, and it is plastic. Samsung calls this a holographic design, but essentially it's just a bunch of lines uh, running through or running down the phone at the back panel. Uh, the finish is sort of a gradient finish. It starts from blue or black and finishes at a very nice mirror-like uh, silver finish at the bottom. Now let's talk about the size. As mentioned earlier, the phone does come with a 7000mAh battery and that is reflected in the thickness of the phone. It's a pretty chunky boy, but it's not very heavy. Actually, it's only 218 grams. So it actually feels quite light in the hands and the curved edges of the back panel actually makes it very easy to hold. Now quickly moving on to the specs, another big selling point of the Samsung Galaxy M62 is its Exynos 9825 chipset. Yes, it's the same exact chipset that you got with the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 series, meaning it is technically a flagship chipset, albeit a little old now. Now, another smartphone that I can think of that has a flagship chipset that costs below 2000 ringgit is of course the Xiaomi Mi 10T. That one doesn't have an AMOLED display. In Malaysia, you get 8GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage as standard. Moving on, the third probably largest selling point of this phone, it's the feature that has been most marketed by Samsung so far for this phone is the 7000mAh battery like I mentioned earlier. And it supports up to 25 watts of fast charging and power sharing via a cable as well. If you're wondering if a 7000mAh battery is at all practical, especially at the cost of the size of the phone, do stay tuned for our video where we test out a bunch of phones with different uh, battery capacities and see how much of a difference a big battery makes. Moving on to cameras, the phone has a 64 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, two 5 megapixel lenses. One is a macro, the other one is a depth sensor. It's an overall pretty standard setup here, but as usual with Samsung phones, you get pretty decent software for photography and videography as well. Speaking of software, the phone runs on One UI 3.1 based on Android 11. And as usual, I like the One UI software because it's clean, minimal, and well, it's easy to use. Lastly, the phone comes with a side-mounted fingerprint sensor but there's really not much else to talk about because the phone is meant to be simple and this is a phone that is great for people who want a sort of a premium experience thanks to its really gorgeous AMOLED display and flagship chipset in the Exynos 9825 without forking out too much especially considering the phone only costs below 2000 ringgit. Well, let us know what you think about the Galaxy S62 down in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe, like and this is Victor signing off. Bye-bye.